Hi, and welcome to Dave's NFL Picks 1415, Week 2. Wow. <laughs> and you thought Week 1 was juicy. I've always said that the NFL is a microcosm for all the violence, vomit, and shit of everyday human existence. And what glorious shit it is. Here's a fun fact for you. Teams that lose in Week 1 have only a 12% chance of making the playoffs. So kiss your seasons goodbye, Giants, Packers, Patriots, Bears, Cowboys, Saints... Chargers, Ravens, Browns, Bucks, Rams, Raiders, Jaguars, Chiefs, Colts, and Redskins. Uh, that other team. So now that those teams are out of the picture, what are we going to talk about? Oh, right. Hello, Ray Rice. So, here's the deal. Back in February, when video emerged of Ray Rice dragging his unconscious girlfriend out an elevator in an Atlantic City hotel, Prosecutors gave him a slap on the wrist, and so did Commissioner Roger Goodell, who gave him a two-game ban. Now, a lot of people were upset that, with the commissioner that he was being too lenient. So in August, the NFL instituted a new policy about domestic violence, saying anyone who committed it would get a minimum six games. This week, TMZ released a video of what happened in the elevator. Ray Rice punches his girlfriend in the head. She collapses unconscious on the floor and he stands over her like Ali standing over Frazier. When the elevator door opens, he drags her partly out the door like a bag of garbage. It's disgusting and ugly, and Ray Rice should be banned for life. Now, the NFL says that they had no idea of the existence of this video prior to giving him a two-game ban. But Peter King and Chris Mortensen say that their sources in the league office say the league did know of the existence of that tape. The NFL looked the other way. This Ray Rice debacle is not going away, and it could cost Commissioner Goodell his job. Wow. <laughs> what a week. And we haven't even gotten to football yet. Here are my picks for week two. With all the juicy stuff going on off the field, has anyone noticed what's happening on the field? Did anyone see that play where Pittsburgh punt returner Antonio Brown karate kicks Cleveland punter Spencer Lanning in the face? In the face? What is going on? 128. No, that's not the quarterback rating for Eli Manning, Tony Romo, and Jay Cutler. That's the collective number of interceptions they'll throw each week. Now, to be fair, Eli Manning is on a crappy team, Tony Romo has a bad back, and Jay Cutler is just a shitty football player. But still, it's going to be fun watching those three throw passes to the other team. Except if you're a Giants fan which, sadly, I am. Here's my winners for Week 2. Steelers, Bills, Titans, Cardinals, Patriots, Saints, Bengals, Panthers, Bucks, Seahawks, Texans, Jets, Broncos, 49ers, and Colts. We'll see you next week. Oh, not you, Ray Rice. We won't be seeing you for a long time. Peace out.